Hello friends, this is part 36 of Angular 14 series and in this session we will discuss about that reusable component with model support. So as we know that we can create the custom component using Angular with the help of Angular and uh, so that that you know component would be you know reusable and uh, for other component or you can say we can easily import that component to other module. Let's say here in this uh, example i have uh, created uh, one customer you know select customer component uh, which is you know responsible to list up the customer you know list uh, this uh, you know component should accept the model from parent okay so whoever uh, will be the consumer for this customer component i can i mean that consumer can pass their own custom model and this suppose let's say if you just select this one so which means this select customer component and you know, will pass the selected customer information to the consumer model okay the way we use for angular material or other you know custom component okay so similar way here also we'll you know discuss about that part so let's get into the code here i have created one customer you know select uh, component and this uh, select you know customer select component basically part of the customer module and another module also i have that is called order module so in that order module order filter uh, no, that section it is there okay so here uh, you can see this is order speech and the first you know portion is called you know filter section and the below one is called order list based on the filter uh, you know user can see that you know order for the customer okay so here basically what i have done <coughs> here i have created uh, that you know apps customer select component and i have been you know used that component here okay and here um, basically one filter button and now let me go inside that you know customer select component here and if i see that you know select customer component i have just only fetched that customer list here and now if i go to that html here here also you can see no model or nothing okay but now what i want i want to register you know that ng model with my custom you know component and here basically what i want to pass let me open that component ts file here basically i want to pass this customer model okay this one so if i pass so as you know we are using ng model uh, let me check you know inside the browser let me open the developer console and <coughs> basically here one error is throwing that is called the ng model is used within the form tag we should have that name property i mean name attribute let me add that as well now moment i added that now next another error came into the picture that is called no value accessor for form control with name okay so basically this customer you know component is not ex you know accepting such kind of attribute custom attribute okay so to achieve that or also we can uh, you know you know or or you can say you know to accept the custom model as well what we need to do okay 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 now uh, for that uh, we have already control value accessor that is part of angular forms this interface if we implement then this is also kind of you know angular form lifecycle hook okay as we have that you know angular uh, i mean a component lifecycle hook like you know ng on init ng destroy some other also you know <coughs> on changes and similar way here also you know form control i mean angular forms is having uh, some of the you know life cycle hooks okay so now let me implement those you know methods so once i implement it so basically four you know methods you have to implement okay so four method let me remove this uh, throwing part error okay now <coughs> uh each one i will discuss one by one but you know maybe uh, 
this uh, you know session will be lengthy but maybe you know next session also i will continue this part okay now i will talk about this register on changes okay just imagine if i you know change anything here so that value automatically will be updated to the you know this model i mean my custom model right let me uh, okay so here is the order model okay now what i will do basically i will use ng generally we do like this way so here what i will do um, so, okay let me close other files okay um, so here get let's say customer on getter uh, property i'm using and here basically i'll, I'll do I'll consider one private you know property that is called i that should be i customer <coughs> and by default value would be new customer class and here it will return customer and also uh, i will have another setter and it will accept as a customer and the customer will be assigned with this newly selected customer okay so moment i do that now i can show you uh, let me you know assign this customer one to the model let me save the all the change still that error uh you know is coming right so to resolve the error what is happening control value accessor actually i have implemented in this component but angular form doesn't know i know how this component is you know playing with this you know methods okay for that what i need to do i need to register as a provider like you know provide ng value this token i need to pass a uh, value accessor and here then you know use existing so i need to pass this class name okay and then multi as true now save this change open the browser now see that error has gone which means now this component is you know capable to accept the custom attribute as well as you know the model custom model okay so let me also uh, open that order filter component here yes now this attribute and also this one now let me you know debug here order filter okay so here what i'll do let me put one debugger setter now let me set i mean click moment i clicked so one value you uh, know that selected customer uh, information is coming and it is assigning to the private one okay now uh, here also let me put one debugger moment i click on the filter so here i have the customer let me check what is coming inside that customer see blank object is coming no value is coming right selected <coughs> customer value not coming as because um, i haven't passing any value to the uh, what is called implemented method okay i mean i'm not using any life cycle hook of that control value accessor okay so <coughs> what i need to do here basically i will use one private property that is called on change you can put any any name here okay and this is basically an you know, arrow function and this arrow function by default is returning in you know, a undefined one and here i will accept value of any or null and here uh, i will pass i mean this on change will be assigned with this function so this function is nothing but anonymous function i mean or you can say callback function in javascript okay so <clears throat> whatever you know you are assigning i'm basically assigning one anonymous function inside this you know on change method and uh, after that 
uh, you know i will pass the value inside this method so that this control value accessor method will get to know or you can say life cycle will hook will get to know what value got changed okay now here only i will use that on change method and it is basically ex uh, expecting a value so here i will pass uh, customer that selected customer one now let me save this let me put debugger here yes it is there now select any of the customer and filter now go to the console and type yes here you go we have now the latest you know customer uh, sample 148 customer i have selected now if I, if I change anything and then click and again clear the previous one yes now i have that sample 150 customer i mean this way we can design the custom component so that our custom component will be you know acceptable i mean by other component also okay so that parent or you know consumer can pass their you know custom model and using that custom model they can have the latest value okay but this one we can achieve by another way also that you know event emitter you know whenever change anything on the control we can you know you know raise the event to the parent so that parent will get to know what changes is going on but that is a uh, you know time consuming and uh, that is not a uh, best way to design the component uh, because that is an, an uh, event related something okay so that memory leakage will be there but this way you can do easily okay so <clears throat> next uh, okay now next is now let's say imagine uh, someone is telling okay i don't want you know this ng model i want the form control okay let me uh, you know try that part as well let's say i have one customer form control and this is type of form control new form control and now this time let's say i'm going to use let me copy and paste it over here so sometimes i need ng model sometimes also need i need you know form control right so form control and let me put inside the bracket because i'm going to pass that variable okay so <coughs> here uh, i have added the customer control okay now let me uh console both the things now let's save this change and now check in the browser okay now go to the console now moment i select this one here 149 and last one 146 now click see first one is coming as expected and then next one is the form control i was passing i mean i'm passing the form control so here I also can see the value is coming as customer information okay so <clears throat> if you implement that control value accessor in the right way then you can have you know you can pass the form control either or you can pass also model as well so each you know, both scenario you can have the you know value okay so next session we'll discuss about that you know validation some you know let's say if i you know use that required here let's say i have used a required okay and you know on button click i'm you know submitting the form right so i want you know if i you know click filter you know instead of submitting the form this should say you know field is required something like that okay so that validation also should be acceptable by the components that we also need to think about so how to achieve that next session we'll discuss about okay so i guess uh, this is enough for the day and uh, you just, just try from your end and still if you have any confusion or any doubt please do let me know in the comment box so that i can help you quickly okay and uh, yes someone also <coughs> sometimes you know telling please share your you know source code i already shared you know in the comment you know description box that uh, git link 
here you can see that you know in you know material ng material uh, you know repository inside this repository in the main branch itself nowadays i am merging all the code changes inside this main branch so each and every latest code will be merged in inside this branch okay and uh, also please vote you know the this question set so that i can also get to know how many things you are using how many things you are not using you are you missing anything uh, you know in the angular so that i can help you quickly so and th those topics i will cover you know i will try from my best okay thank you for listening have a great day